Thursday, and that can only mean one thing. We are taking the Ellen DeGeneres Christmas mascot out to Ellen, out to the Warner Brothers studio lot. Got a couple things to kind of get together, but the costume is finished. Can't say what it is. I would love to tell you guys what it is, but you'll have to watch the show. But as soon as it airs, as soon as the 12 days of Christmas begin airing, we'll be able to go back and show you some of the footage that we shot. It's not much, but it's certainly a cool costume. And once again, big thanks to the guys at Drive Shop and for Hyundai for sending us out this Santa Fe 2017 edition. We're gonna be scooting that car with the, I almost said, with the costume in the back. Man, I'd be in so much trouble. And we're gonna be going out into the valley where it's probably totally hot and we're bringing this costume to Ellen. Gonna be cool. is in the car, just waiting on Kathy. I think we're good to go. I never wear shoes, ever. But you know why I did? It, did? Why? Because I didn't paint my toenails. Ew! Happy holidays. It's not the holidays. Well, isn't Halloween kind of the start of the holidays? I guess so. I just like saying it. It doesn't really mean anything. We're, we're in the, the Hyundai Santa Fe. We're heading to Warner Brothers, uh, to the studio. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers is in the valley, which kind of sucks. What? Oh, there's what? total bad traffic. Oh my gosh. Hmm, we may have to find an alternate source. Hold on a second, I gotta check the maps. We tried our, our favorite map app, which is called Waze, W-A-Z-E, and it says uh, it's about an hour away. Which is what we planned for. Pretty much. We got to deliver this costume back here, this green bagged thing. What it is, I can't tell you. Can we give them a hint? No. Nope. Well, it's for Christmas. It's for Christmas. Can you guess what it is? No? Uh, what else? Oh. You know what? I got 38 likes on my Instagram photo for breakfast points. <laughs> breakfast Peanut butter and banana. Toast points. Toast points. I, toast yeah. points, yeah. But you also you posted something else last night and it got like 100 likes. I know. My, the sunset. Amazing. She's so popular. Aren't I cool? Aren't you, aren't you cool? Here we are once again on the studio lot at Warner Brothers. It's always fun, while, you know, just poking around on the, on the lot. It's a great lot. You never know who you're going to see or what you're going to see. saw Ellen. Super cool. Didn't get to shoot her though. No. Can't put her on the vlog. <laughs> but I'm it was pretty fun. Lucky enough to talk to her. <laughs> yeah. But it was really nice. Got to shake her hand, hang out. And now we're going to get some lunch. This is your 11th year. I think it's the 12th. This is your 12th year yeah. that you've done this. But you know this. what's the best part is everybody is so amazingly nice. Oh yeah. And they're the same people every year, like the stage manager, mm -hmm. same guy. And he, he's, even the security guard for Ellen is Very the same. cool, yeah. yeah. We've only gotten slammed up against the wall a couple of times. Wasn't bad, kind of enjoyed it actually. We got Our, slammed? 
Maybe that was just me. Got a few minor changes to make. Some springs. Hey! I can say that. They don't know what it's for, but no. you're gonna find out soon. Ooh, springs. What's it for? <laughs> Get what you needed? I did. All right. Back to the pad so she can finish up. And then we got another call for another project. People just love this lady. I don't know what the deal is. Today, we delivered the Ellen DeGeneres mascot for Christmas. And um, it's really exciting and they were very happy. Actually, it came back for a little, little changes. And then now they're coming and picking it up again. But I wanted to say, you know, it's not that easy all the time when, when you do creative projects. You've gotta, you've gotta think, you know, deeply. And you've got to say, what's the best way I can approach this? You've got to deliver a beautiful job, but yet there's invention, there's uh, creative decisions I have to make constantly. So I got to go with my intuition. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll go to bed and I'll go, I do not know how I'm gonna solve this problem. Didn't happen on this job this time, but I've done Ellen's jobs for 12 years and it definitely has happened. But I'll go to bed and I'll think, I don't know how I'm going to get this and, and it's due. And in the middle of the night, I actually get the answer. And I believe it comes from our deep, the deep part of us that knows all the answers. Any of us that have something to do that we can't figure out, my suggestion is sit back, close your eyes, or go to sleep on it. But say, I know the answer's there. I just got to let it happen. We've got to be patient. A lot of us want the answer right away, and I am one of those. I get in the hardware store and I go, I've got to find this thing that's going to do this thing, and and then I'll get back here and I'll find I have something laying on the table that will work perfectly. You know, we just have to be patient, listen to our intuition, listen to whatever's guiding us, and we will succeed. Words from the master. Kathy is an extraordinary, uh, extraordinarily creative powerhouse. Uh, but not only that, she has built so many costumes over the years, hundreds of costumes that each one is an invention process. And she hits head on to these things. She's not afraid of it. Uh, she has lots of concerns, lots of questions, but uh, every single costume that she builds is a unique piece of art in itself uh, with a function. It's not just, it doesn't just sit there, it actually serves a purpose. And with the intention to, that it makes people happy, it puts smiles on people's faces, 
and that's what her goal was from the time she was a little kid. It's 90 degrees in Malibu. It's hotter than, you know, there's lots of ways I could describe that. It's just hot. When it's hot, uh, it's really hard to go out and, and search for cars and, and go to a car show or do, you know, do things outside the, uh, outside the pad. And, and we'd rather just kind of stand, uh, stay cool, uh, douse ourselves with the hose, water the plants, and, and kind of take care of things around the, uh, around the pad here. But uh, we did get out and deliver the costume. Here's proof positive over at Warner Brothers. As far as I know, the show is going to be filming uh, fairly quick. They are coming back to pick up the costume, so it, it, within a, a week or so, you're going to be able to watch this new costume do its thing, and then we'll be able to show you a little bit of stuff that we did with it. But uh, always grateful to those guys. Uh, always fun to work on that project. As Kathy said, you know, we, we, we're kind of addicted to our negative habits, our negative thoughts, and we have to work at replacing those thoughts. You can't, you can't just stop thinking negatively. You literally, because it's not like you, you pull something out and then you got something empty in there. You know, you're always thinking, you're always moving forward. Uh, you know, what I like to do is, is think thoughts that propel me forward and get me excited and, and heighten that emotional state. And sometimes you get down in the dumps and you start thinking negatively. You just got to catch those things. You got to be aware. You got to pluck them out. You got to replace them with something positive. You got to feel good about what you're doing and have faith. I decided on the vlog to do a tiny any little addition at the end of each episode and that is do a quick book recommendation there's lots of ways to read books you can read the physical book you can you can go on your Kindle you can go on your on your phone and you can read all these kinds of things but I have an extensive library of positive thinking books of, of books that I highly recommend that I've read multiple times probably an extent of a thousand books today's book is the amazing results of positive thinking by Norman Vincent Peale this is a classic this is an amazing book one of the originals, like Napoleon Hill and all those guys. And uh, Norman Vincent Peale was an amazing writer and had just done a lot of books. So whatever books that you like, whatever things, if you want to go on Instagram and read some quotes, if you, you, know, uh, you want to get on Facebook or Twitter, anything, whatever it takes to put you in a good state. That's why we go to the beach. That's why I, I like to drive. That's, I try to fill my day with all kinds of things that will keep me propelled forward and excited and feeling good about the day. And that's what we need to do to lift our spirits and to be able to achieve success. Okay, that's it for vlog 485. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Hang out with us on Instagram. Uh, we do lots of all kinds of really great shots of cars and beaches and all kinds of neat stuff. Same thing with Facebook and Twitter. You know, we try to switch it around, but uh, subscribe, hang out with us because this is the place to be. If you like cool cars, if you love the beach lifestyle, if you love all things positive, all things cool, we hang out. We help you guys in every way that we can. And before you know it, your life will get better on all kinds of levels. Epic. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.